The biggest mistake that I see startups making pretty much all the time is due diligence. So unfortunately when you're small it's very very difficult to be able to spend the money on trying to work out not why is my idea going to work but trying to identify why it might not work. And even if we see due diligence done, it's typically accounting due diligence or legal due diligence. Now, the third element of due diligence is the most important. It's intangible asset due diligence. Has someone else already done my idea? Second of all is, have they protected it? And third is, am I able to do my idea? And more importantly, am I able to protect it in a meaningful way? That also, also doesn't come down to just going and getting a patent. And the reason this is important is because let's say I've got an idea that I really just need to keep secret. Because if I put in a patent, then I'll, someone else will be able to do what's in my patent and then replicate it. And in particular, we see this around manufacturing processes. So manufacturing processes are very, very difficult to detect because quite often the courts won't give you access to that particular factory to be able to go and see if they've stolen it. Or another example, a more modern example, might be you've come up with, let's say, an amazing search algorithm you go and file a patent on it. And of course, there might be a certain company that begins with G that looks at that particular patent and goes, wow, that's an amazing search algorithm. Maybe we could incorporate that into our code base. So the other lesson that I've learned the hard way is knowledge is power, but timing is everything. And being too early into a market or too late can be as devastating. And it's a bit like when you go to land on the moon. If you fire your afterburners for too long, you run out of fuel and you crash. And if you don't fire them soon enough, you can't slow the vessel down. So again, making sure that you don't use your cash up too soon or utilizing it too late is really important in terms of timing. Another small element that we often see is where people misprice their product or service into the market. So again, doing due diligence about what the market is prepared to pay for your product or service is also really important. So ultimately, what it really comes down to is yes, legal and accounting due diligence can be relevant, but typically once you're scaling up, it's really about doing your intangible asset due diligence and making sure that you can do your idea, but most importantly, you can protect it in a meaningful way.